What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today we're going to take a closer look at the upcoming vault Tech Workshop DLC for Fallout 4. I just got back from E3, and I know this isn't breaking news, but of course I'm going to cover this no matter what, no matter how far off we are. Bethesda revealed this DLC at their E3 showcase last weekend, along with a tentative July release window. Unfortunately, we don't have an exact release day yet, but of course Bethesda has been on time with all of their you know, release windows, and so it will be in July, we know that, and once we find out an exact date, you will find that right here on my channel. In this video, we'll dive deeper into that reveal trailer, and I'll also provide some of my additional speculation on what we've seen so far. Let's go ahead and start with the trailer. Right from the beginning, we can see that this DLC is all about building your own vault. That's pretty much the main draw and what we're going to be doing in this DLC. We have this large open underground area. It looks like some kind of train station, subway station, something along those lines where we have a ton of space to build and play around with. It's hard to pinpoint exactly where this is. It does look like an underground railroad or subway station. So maybe there's a subway station on the map that they can just retrofit or just an entirely new location. You know, that's something I expect. And I also expect there to be multiple of these around the world. It would make sense to have more than at least one. One more thing I want to point out before moving on, we have two ghouls in the top left above the build your own vault banner and we will need to clear out those goals before continuing and building so we can tell there's going to be certain items already in these areas we had that train right there that we could just grab for steel and also we can knock out certain walls to expand the buildable space like with this limestone wall that's about to go down and we get some concrete from that but also there's a rad scorpion behind so looks like we're gonna have to clear out these areas from ghouls rad scorpions things like that and then we'll be able to build we're pausing again here to look at some of the first vault building and now we see exactly how this is going to go down first off direct your attention to the bottom of the screen we can tell there's going to be a whole nother vault category so it's not going to be within structures it's going to be vault and then within vault we're going to have structures and i think that's because there's tons of stuff that's being added tons of different items we can actually add into the vault that are vault specific so we can tell that stairs are something we'll find under the utility section of structures within the vault master category we can see other things like door openings on the left side of that centerpiece and then to the right of that stair piece we can see kind of u-turns where you go up the stairway well and then have to turn back around to keep going up that's what that looks like to me maybe it was easier just to add those larger pieces in order to get you know people up multiple levels and then the one on the far right I'm not exactly sure about but we can see that stairs require wood steel rubber you know standard things that we would expect Next, we have more building of a completely separate room under structures and then rooms and then common. So we have different types of rooms and then within rooms we have common, which are these apparently. So they look blue and it looks like we have just different types of roofing. Some that are kind of slanted and kind of rounded off at the end, some that are like corner pieces. So we will need kind of corner pieces in order to round things off. That just makes sense. A lot of, you know, vault building mods already use this system. And then it looks like these rooms are all gonna kind of use, or most things are gonna use wood, steel, and rubber. So keep that in mind when you're collecting stuff for when this comes out in July. And now we're getting the final little glimpse at the actual building. The rest of this trailer is kind of other stuff. So we're going to be able to build wide halls. So different structures with wider kind of areas, very similar to what we have when we first enter Vault 81. As you guys know, with the fusion cores, that's where you get the Overseer's Guardian. You can do other things there, but it has a wide hall entrance. And so we're going to build something very similar here. Looks like there's a lots of different types, maybe some that you can kind of have a connect for where it goes in all four different directions. That looks like the third piece there. Just a lot of different options. Again, things we've already seen in mods. Once again, this takes wood, rubber, and steel. Very standard, it looks like, materials that we'll need to build. Next, we get a very quick sequence where we have people walking into the vault. And this looks like to me that our vaults are going to inherently attract people, you know, from the wasteland to come in and live in our vault. Now, that is pure speculation, but just seeing this really reminds me of that and kind of reminds me of Fallout Shelter. As I said before, this is really meta. It's like they made a DLC out of Fallout Shelter, which is based on the Fallout main game. So anyways, I, this is something that's really interesting. I'd like to know what you guys think is going on here. Maybe we have to send people to the vault individually, or maybe it just actively attracts people. We're going to look at this next part in slow motion a few times just to point out all the new things. First off, it looks like our vaults are going to be attacked by raiders and possibly more. If this follows Fallout Shelter, then it's definitely going to be attacked by more than that. Maybe even, you know, Death Claws and, and Super Mutants and all kinds of things. But also in this clip, we can see that our vault dwellers are defending it. Maybe we have to place these people in certain positions, maybe as our security. That would be really cool. And also we have those really cool things that make cool noises whenever you enter a vault. Looks like we're going to be able to place those down just like in Vault 81. But I would expect new objects like maybe a defense guard post where we have to specifically assign our vault dwellers to that and probably extending into the vault itself for certain jobs like 
cleaning, cooking, stuff like that. Maybe we have to assign our settlers just like we do in settlements in this new vault playable space. Now, this last little thing is perhaps the most exciting thing in the entire trailer, at least for me it is, and that's that we can experiment on our vault dwellers. That's right, just like Vault Tech, we can turn around and do some experiments on these people that have come to our vault from the wasteland. And so there are so many different applications for this. It could go the fallout shelter route. At least what we're looking at right here, it looks like we're eating and then exercising. I don't know what that you know has to do with being an experiment or whatnot, but it would be cool to offer some way to kind of train stats. You know, we do know that you know certain characters, especially companions in the game, have special stats. They don't seem to impact much, but it would be cool to kind of train vault dwellers to do certain things or be better at their jobs on the other hand we could do straight up mean experiments and things that i can think of are putting like 100 women in a vault with one man maybe not 100 you know a little more realistic for the game so say 19 women and one man i would really love for that to actually be an interactive experience where it is in a certain kind of experiment that you can monitor and then gather data from and do something with or maybe we have something crazy like having a vault full of gary clones something like that maybe we can clone our vault dwellers there's so many different things and ways they could go with this and when the dlc does come out i'll probably make a separate video showing you guys all the different experiments because again this is one of the most compelling parts of this dlc at least for me and then finally to close out the trailer we get this nice cross section of a vault we can tell it's at least three levels and it's set up just like fallout shelter now i don't know if this was just kind of a cute kind of thing that they did for this trailer to show off hey this is so we're so meta here you know we're putting fallout shelter in a dlc inside of fallout 4 which again i think is really cool or if this is an actual view we can go into to actually monitor our vault. And I think that would be even cooler if that's the case. Just kind of look through the walls, kind of monitor everyone while we, the sole survivors, the vault overseers are playing God. I think that would be a really cool new feature slash, you know, view mode. I'm actually pretty excited for this workshop. I didn't think I would be, but just going back through this trailer, combing through it and seeing the possibilities, I'm really excited for this. And I'd like to hear from you guys, what are you most excited for from this DLC and what kind of experiments do you want to conduct on your vault dwellers? I can think of a billion ideas. I definitely want to have, you know, a pretty good creative free range. I guess I have to keep my, you know, expectations realistic. It's only a $5 DLC, but I'm definitely expecting a lot out of it. And I hope you guys are as well. Share all of your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, guys, today I shared my analysis of the Vault Tech DLC trailer for Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more DLC coverage, my survival mode live streams, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.